Welcome to Wall Street Confidential, the show we give you the inside story as to what's really happening on Wall Street. I'm Greg Greenberg, and with me today is Jim Kramer. Greg. Jim, the New York Times seems a little bit confused over your Dendron position, right. so I figured you'd, you might as well talk about it right now. Sure. I mean, first, I don't want to make too, too much of it, if only just because the article that appeared about me was genuinely silly, although they tried to tie in a previous controversial thing I did on Wall Street Confidential to this, basically saying, you know, maybe Kramer can't be trusted, which I, look, I, I have a lot of critics, and fortunately my critics are not of the imus level. Uh, my love, I, I feel bad for him, uh, but I obviously feel worse for the people he, he, he Understood. hurt. Absolutely. Um, That's his controversy. Right, right exactly. <laughs> Um, I spoke with this reporter first on Thursday of last week, uh, and her gist was, uh, Jim, the blogs say you confused Dendrion with a mythical company, Devlin McGregor, and that you frankly didn't understand that there was a difference, that you confused Prevenge uh, with Prevast. But that, I mean, that's a joke. I'm a huge mad money watcher, as we all are here. Um, that's a joke you've made before. Right. Well, I mean, the gist of what I've the, been saying the over and over movie. again. Right. Is that the one-armed man worked for Devlin McGregor, which is a drug company. He wasn't on his own like in the TV show. Correct. And the, way, the reason why that's important is because the drug companies have been front and center as the enemy of the American people. I also like to make the joke about Provasic, if only because it sounds like a real drug company. All right, it does a real drug. All right. Here's a question. What was originally your call on the stock? Um, there was a lot of controversy surrounding the, the actual FDA meeting. If right, you read well, Adam I mean, Fierstein, most people thought this thing wouldn't get through. I, I, look, I don't know anyone who thought it would get through, frankly, and all my sources thought it wouldn't get through. As a throwaway line, I said, I don't think it'll be approved. It was right at the end of the show. The stock was then subsequently halted. So the article in the Times made it sound like I cost people a lot of money, but you couldn't sell it you if couldn't you wanted make to. The, you actually couldn't no. make the trade. So, I mean, one of the things that bothered me immensely, but I'll tell you what happened. I haven't said this to anywhere. That bothered me immensely was it says, who knows how much Kramer cost people? And the answer is nothing. Now, when I spoke to the reporter last night after it hit the web. First of all, she wasn't aware that it hit the web. Second, she initially absolutely categorically denied that she had ever put in a line that it cost anybody any money. She said that was put in by the editors. I said, well, really, it doesn't matter. Third, she said, listen, well, I'm going to demand a correction because obviously it didn't cost anybody any money. And again, I said, there would be no article if I didn't cost people money. And then she said, I said, I said, listen, I want to ask you point blank. Have you ever seen the show? And she said, never. Now, this is intriguing to me because it was therefore obviously a hit job. Right. Now, I don't mind a hit job. I'm a big guy. But why bother to assign someone who's never seen the show? The initial reason why they did it was that they really, the bloggers, so-called bloggers, were saying he didn't know the difference between a real drug and a, and, a, and a phony drug, which was the initial inquiry. Right. My thought, actually, was when I saw the article, it seemed like the Times really wanted to copy what the Post did. Yes, because I think the they Post did. the Post took a shot at you. They got a right. huge reaction, even follow up on USA Today, on another, in my opinion, right. ridiculous story. Um, that said, you know, the Times is really trying to do something with itself. Seems like they were following right. what the Rupert Murdoch method. Well, this is the first time, uh, other than a David Carr column, and candidly, I know David Carr, and when it started, I interviewed when my show started, he wrote a piece. This is the first time in two years that the Times has addressed my show. And I think that the, you know, the, the, part, the part and parcel of it was, please, let's embarrass Kramer. Now, Kramer isn't that easily embarrassed anymore because there's been a lot of stuff about me. But I thought that the idea that, that the gist of it was that, that I got people out of the stock, which was impossible, and that the bloggers were calling for me to be fired. Bloggers have called for me to be fired since 1996 when I started thestreet.com. So, I mean, I think that, you know, when you take counsel to the bloggers or, or when the New York Times take counsel to the bloggers, it just means let's try to get Kramer kicked off. I always find it amazing that I am such at the fulcrum of the fire Kramer movement. All right, well, you put yourself out there, you got to right. face the yes, and do. arrows. Net, 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 what do you do with the stocks? Got a huge short percent, percentage. Well, what I said the next bucks. day was that, look, Dendrion, the short position is immense. It's going to keep going higher. Uh, people were obviously ill-prepared for it higher. I said that Dendrion was going to be like Onyx. It was going to keep going up. Now, that call, of course, didn't make the Times. What I think is most interesting is, is that if you take a look at the bottom line of what the Times was saying, it was like Kramer didn't recommend a stock that went up. Well, shocker, there's a lot of stocks that I haven't recommended that went up. I think that Dendrion is, is the classic example of no one thought it would be approved, which is why the short just is endless in the cover. All right. Well, thanks a lot for explaining Thank to you. us. Jim Kramer, Greg Greenberg, that's Wall Street Confidential.